The Ruins, seen from Giacomo Bonamente, the world's greatest hero. Exterior movie set on ancient Roman ruins day. Guy wires hold a crumbling stone wall and a row of tottering columns in place. Movie fans crowd around. Quint wires squibs in place. Vittorio and Silvestro set up the camera and reflectors. Millie practices. That was loud. Oh, crud, I keep messing up that line. She looks down at her bosom. That was close. Oh, I'm good. Dreyfus stands at the craft services table next to a government clerk who hands him a contract. Are you the responsible party? Do you think one of those jokers is responsible? Who? Sarcasm, chump. Look it up. And why do we have to pay the government to use this dump? Crap, chump. Look it up. Now, sign there. And there. And there. Initial that. Sign there. And there and there. And print your name there. We hold you personally responsible. Behind the ruins, Giacomo pulls Quint to the side. I only know my first two lines. Quint holds up transmitter. Dreyfus will feed your lines through the sunglasses. Back in front of the ruins, Quint joins Dreyfus next to the craft services table. Is our star ready? Giacomo puts on the sunglasses and, with a glorious bow... I am, E.D. Uh, the movie fans race over to Giacomo. You people really don't get sarcasm, do you? Please, uh, adoring fans, I, I must set the new standard of thespian excellence. No, that's sarcasm. Places, everyone! I'd be saying it that the Places, everyone! Giacomo positions himself at the end of the crumbling wall. Millie goes farther along, sits the ground against the wall, wraps a strip of cloth around her wrists. Quint places the sunglasses radio transmitter on the craft services table and picks up his squib remote detonator. He indicates the transmitter to Dreyfus. Could you promise, Giacomo? I have to find the squibs. Dreyfus nods vacantly, focuses on his cast and crew. And the axiom. Giacomo pokes his head around the wall. Quint presses a button on his remote detonator. A squib flashes next to Giacomo, who dives to the ground. Giacomo sounds vaguely like an Italian Sean Connery. You'll never get me, Dr. Maybe. <laughs> he gets up, scurries along the wall, dives to the ground again, waits. A squib finally flashes behind him. Millie looks down at herself, then... That was close. Not close enough, my dear. Giacomo scrambles over, unties her wrists, gets up. Millie starts to get up, facing away from him. Her butt stuns Giacomo, who staggers into the wall. The wall wobbles. The government clerk clears his throat at Dreyfus. The transmitter picks up Dreyfus's voice. What a big ass. Staring at Millie's butt, Giacomo repeats. What a big ass. What? She straightens up, slaps Giacomo. Millie collects herself. She sidles up to Giacomo. He can't resist checking out Millie's cleavage. She's written her lines on her breasts. Back in front of the ruins, Silvestro bumps his video camera, so it's facing straight up. Vittorio leans, and his chair collapses under his weight. Dreyfus indicates Vittorio and Silvestro... Get a load of those two boobs. Once again, completely transfixed. Get a load of those two boobs. Millie slaps Giacomo harder. He staggers. Millie collects herself again, reads line from her breasts. Let us go in that direction. They approach one of the columns. A squib flashes above them, and they drop side by side to a sitting position on the ground. The government clerk moves closer across the craft services table from Dreyfus. Stay close to me, my hero. She puts her hand on Giacomo's knee. Giacomo jumps up. Dreyfus sees the government clerk reach into his walnut bowl. Keep away from my nuts. Keep away from my nuts. That's it! She gets up, pulls back, clobbers Giacomo. Giacomo falls against the column. It teeters. No, don't! The column collapses against the next column and the next. No! The government clerk pulls out a calculator. Personally responsible.